let us solve the problem of traveling salesman. In the previous video, we have discussed what is a traveling salesman problem and what is that very function which will be used for solving our problem. So, let me discuss this one. So, in case of traveling salesman problem, we shall have to find out one tour with the minimum cost. So, here g is a function which is having two input arguments. One is the i that is I am at the ith node. The traveling salesman is at the ith node. The node uh, level is i and s means set up all unvisited nodes. Then c i j is the cost between node i to j. j is that very node which is belong to s which was untraversed plus g j from j. So, remaining number of untraversed node will become will remain s minus j. So, this number of untraversed nodes will remain from j to them the cost will be minimum accordingly the j has to be calculated. In this way this particular relation will work. So, now let me go for the required solve C. So, this is my graph given and the cost matrix has been given. We are considering that we are our starting node is 1. We are considering that we are starting from the node number 1. So, that means the tour will get completed after reaching to node number 1. So, now if we consider G 2 phi that means I am now at the node number 2 the traveling salesman is now at the node number 2 and there is no re remaining untraversed nodes that means the S is phi in the case I should con consider the cost C 2 1 because for node number 2 from node number 2 I should return back to 1 because that is a closed cycle. So, that is why it is called a tour. So, C 2 1 means I shall go to C 2 1. So, that is the cost is 5. So, I am writing, writing here 5. But if my last node is 3 and remaining untraversed set is 5 that is empty. In that case I shall take the cost C 3 1. So, C 3 1 means 6. So, 6 is the cost. In this way I did the rest. Okay, now, please come to the its prior recursive call the prior. You see we are having let us suppose I am at node number 2 and remaining node is 3. I can be at a node number 2 and the remaining node can be 4. I cannot be at the node number 2 and the remaining node will be 1 because I am starting from the node number 1. So, now 2 3. So, what will happen? So, C 2 3 plus G 3 5. So, C 2 3. C 2 3 means 2 3 means 9 and G 3 5 I can get it from here and that is 6. So, that is 15. So, now if I am at the node number 2 and the remaining untraversed node is 4. 3 has been traversed somehow. So, remaining untraversed node is 4. So, in that case what will happen? I shall go to the node number 4 and then 4 to back to the node number 1. So, G 4 5 is equal to 8. So, 8 will be coming and C 2 4 2 4 10 will be coming. In this way I did the calculation 18 and in the similar way I did the calculation for the others. So, that is G I am at the node number 3 traveling salesman is at node number 3 remaining untraversed node is 2 or can be 4. If the traveling salesman is at node number 4, the remaining node can be 2 or 3. So, in this way the calculations have been made. Now, we compute G i s where number of elements in s will be 2 that is its prior recursive call. So, that is the uh, uh, number of nodes in s will be 2, untraversed number of nodes will remain 2 and i is not equal to 1 obviously i is not equal to 1 because 1 is the first node from where we have started our journey. So, 1 is also does not belong to s and i does not belong to s. So, that means s is containing those nodes which is not i and also not 1. So, other nodes will be there in the set. So, we can have this for uh, this particular combinations. So, that is g 2 3 4 g 3 2 4 and this is my g 4 2 3. g 3 2 4 g 4 2 3 in this way we are having this combinations. So, now go for this g 2 3 4 can be of two types can be of uh, two solutions one is uh, c 2 3 and then g 3 4 otherwise c 2 4 from node number 2 I shall go to node number 4. 
so remaining node will remain as 3 ok c c 2 3 c 2 3 is equal to 9 so 9 is the value and g 3 4 i can get it from the previous iteration recursion so that is my 20 so 9 plus 20 ok now th this one c 2 4 so 2 4 means it is 10 and now we are having g 4 3 so g 4 3 means i'll be going for this i'm getting 15 so 15 so that is now minimum of them i should take the minimum of them so here the sum is 29 here the sum is 25 so i shall be taking 25 in this way i did the rest each and every calculation is in front of you you can take this note go on doing the calculations yourself i think it will be matching with my result so now in this way i have done so now i shall go for the finally the last one so that means i'll be starting from node number 1 as i told you earlier so i shall be remaining with the nodes will be 2 3 4 so it can happen in this way minimum of c212 that means i'm going to node number 2 from node number 1 and then 2 from the rest or 1 3 then 3 from the rest or 1 4 then from 4 from the 4 to the rest so these are the possibilities we are having how many such 1 2 3 possibilities c12 c12 means 10 and g234 g234 means i'm getting that on 25 okay c13 c13 will be 15 so that will be coming as 15 and g324 so that will be coming as 25 c14 so c14 will be coming as 20 and g423 so g423 will be coming as 23 so now go on adding and find out the minimum one i think here the minimum is 35 40 and 43 out of them 35 will be the minimum so an optimal tour of the graph has length 35 so one answer we have got now let me find out the path let me find out the path so how the path can be calculated see here so 35 is means this one this one means this one means i shall go from 1 to 2 so i shall go from 1 to 2 so this much we have discussed so ultimately we got 1 to 2 so i am reaching from 1 to 2 so now i am at 2 consider this one now g234 g234 means this one so i am getting the answer 25 means this one means this one that means that means from 2 i am going to 4 so i am considering this one so that means from 2 i am going to 4 so that means this much i have discussed so now i shall go for this g43 so g43 means this one so g43 means this one so that means g uh, c43 plus uh, g35 so c43 so i should consider this one now so from 4 i should reach to 3 so now g35 means c31 so i am reaching to 1 now so i my starting node will be 1 and my terminating node should be also 1 so the path thus obtained is 1 then 2 then i shall go for 4 then i shall go for 3 then i shall go for 1 so that is the path so cost i got path i got i solved the problem so in this way the traveling salesman problem can be solved and see the function the function is having the recursive call also so in this way we can easily solve this problem obviously i should be taking one node as the starting or initial node so uh, solve such problems with other graphs and the respective cost matrices and please solve all of them thanks for watching this video